Hello, everybody. It is 12-24, June 3rd. God bless each and every one of you. I hope and pray everybody is doing okay today. Staying strong in our Lord. All right, you guys. i got a few more to read off, and this will be it for me today. I think I might, we're talking about, might be getting a lot of rain next week, so I might just get out and mow the lawn today. Be a good idea, too. Okay, you guys, listen. You know, everything's on edge, okay? Everything. I did that one video where Jesus was saying, you know, those if you love me, they'll obey my teaching. And then where he also said, you know, where he moved a spirit out of somebody and he said, sin no more or something worse can happen to you. That's why I've always been coming against these future sinners that say all your sins are forgiven. See, they're not telling you something worse can get in you. Okay? There's a reason why they're not saying that. And that's because it's something worse is probably already in them. You guys, this is uh, spiritual. Jesus came to warn about this, you know, about the, uh, the spirit getting in people and it's doing it it's literally getting in people right now so anyhow this is where you're at you guys you don't want to do it you don't want to risk something getting into you and uh this is for anybody that just might be popping in on this video that haven't been hearing anything i've been saying before don't get into the sin man stay away from it because um there's things that can get in you, man. And we're right at the edge right now. You know, and God's going to destroy the wicked. You know? So if you can overcome it, I highly recommend that you do. Overcome it. Stop. Don't do it anymore. Stay away from it. I hope and pray that you can. And understand even what I'm saying. Okay? So with that being said, I want to say God bless you guys in this here and... And I hope and pray that you're able to do this. Also, others out there, man, you're you're having you know attacks. You're not sure how to deal with them. Trust in the Lord. You know, totally lean into the Lord. Don't put your faith or confidence in another man, but trust in the Lord and His power. Okay, because that's where everything's going to come from. It's through His power and His might. Okay. It's not in other men, okay? Be careful of that. If there's people out there making you think it's coming from them, it's not. It's coming from him. Okay, you guys, listen. This is what's happening. I believe this is what's happening now. In these spirits that were cast down, these demons with Satan, they're being thrown into, they're getting in people here who are yielding themselves into sin. All right, Revelations 12, 7 through 12. And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought, but they did not prevail, nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. So the great dragon was cast out, the serpent of old, called the devil and Satan, who deceived the world and was cast to the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven, a voice saying in heaven, Now salvation and strength and kingdom has come to, come of our God, and the power of his Christ have come from the accuser of our brethren, who accused him before our God day and night has been cast down. And they overcame him with the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives to the death. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants, inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil has come down to you, having great wrath, because he knows that his time is short. He knows this, you guys. Tribulations or trials refer to any event or situation that comes your way that tempts you to sin, that gives opportunity for sinful thoughts 
and temptations to rise up in you. The tribulation or trial arises when you're, you know, going through whatever you're going through. You know, that's the way you have to resist it. In the Bible, we read about the Great Tribulation, a time of trouble and difficulty as never before seen on the earth, leading up to the millennium. This terrible period is right at the end of time. Satan knows his time is short and does what he can to persecute God's people and lead as many astray as he can. His servant, the Antichrist, attempts to do away with God entirely. But God is still almighty, and this is the hour of his judgment. Yet even in his terrible time, in this terrible time, God repeatedly gives grace for the people to repent and be saved. This is what I've been trying to do, you guys, get people to repent and be saved. Okay? I'm not trying to, you know, make anybody feel more worse or belittled or like we're better than, you know. I'm telling you, you can do it. And I would recommend that you did do it. Okay? This is evil. It's real. And, you know, it's real. You know, it's a destiny. People are going to either make it or they're not going to make it. I'll still continue doing some videos, but it's obvious, you know. They're, it's not too popular, so I'll just pop some out there every so often, I guess. You know, it doesn't seem, I mean, one video is as good as the other. You know, people want to, don't really care to watch them. It's all right. I think we're close to the end now, anyhow. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, the shame shall be seen. Okay, Isaiah fifty nine seventeen. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation upon his head. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing. And I was clad with zeal as a cloak. Isaiah 61, 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all them that mourn. Comfort all that mourn. Isaiah 63, 2. For the day of vengeance is mine heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 20. But, O Lord of hosts, that judgest righteously, that triest the reins and the hearts, let me see thy vengeance on them, for unto thee I have revealed my cause. Jeremiah twenty twelve, but O Lord of hosts that triest the right righteous and seest the reins and the hearts, let me see thy vengeance on them, for unto thee I have opened my cause. Jeremiah forty six ten For this is the day of the Lord God of hosts, a day of vengeance, that he may avenge him of his adversaries. And the sword shall devour, and it shall be satate, and made drunk with their blood. For the Lord of hosts has a sacrifice in the north country by the river Ephrates. Jeremiah 50.15 Shout against her round about. She has given her hand. Her, her foundations are fallen. Her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance upon her, as she has done do unto her. Jeremiah fifty twenty eight, The voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon, to declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord, our God the vengeance of his temple. Jeremiah 51, 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon, and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquities. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render a ton unto her recompense. Jeremiah 51.11 Make bright the arrow. Gather the shields. The Lord has raised up the spirit. 
of the kings of the Medes for his devices against Babylon to destroy it, because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. Jeremiah 53 or 51, 36. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I will plead thy cause and take vengeance for thee. I will dry up her sea and make her springs dry. Limitations, chapter 3, verse 60. Thou hast seen all their vengeance and all their imaginations against me. Ezekiel 24, 8. That it might cause fury to come up to take vengeance, I have set her blood upon the top of the rock, that it should not be covered. Ezekiel 25, 12. Thus says the Lord God, because that Edom has dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and has greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Ezekiel 25, 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, says the Lord God. Ezekiel twenty five fifteen, Thus says the Lord God, Because the Philistines have dealt by a vengeance and have taken vengeance with a despiteful heart to destroy it for the old hatred. Ezekiel twenty five seventeen, And I will execute great vengeance upon them with fury rebukes, and they shall know that I am the Lord when I shall lay my vengeance upon them. Micah 5.15 And I will execute vengeance in my anger and my fury upon the heathen such as they have not heard. Nahum chapter 1 verse 2 God is jealous and the Lord be vengeance, the Lord be vengeance in his fury. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. You can be sure, you guys, every word of God is true. Many people have no idea what's about to happen. For these be the days of vengeance, Luke twenty one twenty two. For these be the day of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. This is what's getting ready to happen, you guys. Stay away from these people that got this future sinning thing going on. Acts 28.4 And when the barbarians saw the venomous beast hang on his hand, they said among themselves, No doubt this man is a murderer, whom though he has escaped the sea, yet vengeance suffereth not to live. And they seen later he didn't die from it. Romans 3, 5. But if our righteousness commend the, if our unrighteousness commend the righteousness of God, what shall we say? Is God unrighteous who taketh vengeance? I speak as a man. Romans 12, 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Thessalonians chapter 2, 1, or Thessalonians 2, chapter 1, verse 8. In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. You see that? That do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why I say those that ain't listening to his teachings, there's more to his teachings than throwing a one-line verse at you. Be careful, you guys. Deceptions are high, man. Satan's done it. He's going to do it again to you. Hebrews 10.30 For we know him that has said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord will judge, shall judge his people. You guys, I want to remind you something, too. Satan deceived the whole world this time. He's going to be thrown in the pit again for a thousand years. Get out, and he's going to do it again. 
why is Jesus going to rule with the rod of iron while Satan's in the pit for a thousand years? Because he knows the heart of man. Okay? So don't be surprised, man. Don't be putting no people on no pedestal. That's why he tells us to humble ourselves. You know? Don't look at what we used to what we used to think. Huh. Okay. Jude chapter one verse seven. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. There you go. I now read this whole thing. Okay, I got two videos out, and uh, this is what I wanted to get out. This is the time, you guys. Be strong in the Lord. Come out from among them. Be separate from it. He's coming down with vengeance. That's what he's doing. He's coming down with vengeance. To destroy this place. Know this. Every word of God is true. So we should be listening and taking heed to it. Huh? Alright you guys. Listen. I pray for each and every one of you guys. man, To be strong in the Lord. And. Uh, be strong in the Lord you guys. Trust in him. Uh, resist the devil. That's the the stinking thinking stuff, the thoughts. They come up, pop up, man, like out of nowhere. And I know what that is. It's spiritual. This is a spiritual war we're going through. A lot of other people have been saying about it, how they've been having it happen. It's spiritual. And there's a lot of people, that's why it says, you are whom you obey. You know, when these things come up, they're trying to get you to yield yourself to it. Submit yourself, for, therefore, to God. And our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay? And think on those things. When those thoughts pop up, whatever they might be, um, do right. Okay? Come out from among them. You know, you can't even keep company with people that are of the world. We know we're in the last time. What you should be doing if you're around people like that, be telling them what you know. And chances are they're not going to want to be around you. Especially if you're... The only way they're going to want to hang around you is if you're of the world. Talking of the world, laughing, loving life, and stuff like that here. It's the only way they're going to want to hang out with you. But if you truly know we're in the last moments and this is judgment, and you're constantly warning people, they're not going to want to be around it. I already know. I've been down that path, and I've seen it happening to other people. You know, Some of you guys even mention it to me on here. Okay, you guys. Be strong in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, okay? This is real, and they're really hosting people. That's why Jesus said, sin no more, or something worse can happen to you. And these things are getting in people everywhere, and a lot of people don't even know it yet. They don't even know it. That's why a lot of them are under strong delusions, and where it says if, if they can't read the gospel, they can't understand it, it's hid to those who are lost. You guys, it's important to know scriptures and what it says. A lot of people ain't even reading those things and comparing them to with what we're seeing today. Okay? God bless you guys. I love you all. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I pray over each and every one of you in Jesus' name, over the children, that um, Satan's devices be hid away from these children's eyes and their ears. And I pray for our brothers and sisters to be strong in the Lord. Trust in his power and his might. And know this. It's what his words say are true. That resist the devil and he will flee from you. God bless you in Jesus' name.